day three, diaper duty for your science experiment. Two thirds of the earth is covered in water. That's a lot of water. Well, we are gonna test out some diapers. So what you're gonna do is your kids, your students are gonna be broken into groups of you know, two or three and they're going to hold the diaper open and the other person is going to scoop the water in there. Now, I will give you a warning that you have to scoop slowly. We found when we did this with, with the kids that they were scooping too fast because they thought it was a race to see who could get the most in the fastest. But you have to give it just a little bit of time to absorb. So you could use this 100 milliliter graduated cylinder, but this is a little bit too much water to be putting in here at a time. So I have here a quarter measuring cup. If you have an eighth of a measuring cup, that would be even better because it'll force them to slow down a little bit. So I'm gonna use this one for today. And let's see, we have six diapers. So at the tables, you can have different children choose different types of diapers. They're going to have a, a sheet on their table that you can get from your resources that will allow them to guess how much water they think the diaper will hold. So, which diaper should we test? Yeah, the draft. We're gonna test the draft diaper. All right, so we're gonna open this up and my assistant here is going to hold this diaper from the edges. And I'm going to count the amount of water that I can put in here. I'm gonna fill these full so that I can get a good accurate amount. And you also want to encourage your children to go back and forth from the edges, not all just right into the center. What is in these diapers that absorbs this water is a chemical called sodium polyacrylate. Now, sometimes this will come, that was two, sometimes this will come in like a bead form, sometimes it's kind of fluffy. For the second part of this experiment, we're actually going to open up one of the diapers and test how much we can put, how much water we can put on a spoon, empty, and then a spoon with sodium polyacrylate. Anyway, so the kids are gonna continue until they see that the water will no longer absorb. I don't know if you can see that on camera. It's still absorbing right now. So I would just continue until they start to get a little puddle in there, and then they're done, they have to stop. And then the number of scoops that they put in is what they will write on their paper. Thanks, you can it's set still. that down. Yeah, we're not gonna do it to completion. I think, I think they get the point, hopefully. The next part, you're gonna use a dropper and you're gonna take a spoon, the kids are gonna take a spoon and they can each do this actually. And they're gonna count the number of drops that they can fit into the empty spoon. Of course, they should be counting their drops. Um, I prepped this one earlier just to test it out and mine was around 200 drops. So it's gonna take them a little while to do this one. Once they get it to the point where, I'm just gonna do it really fast to get it filled up just to show you. Oh, drop, drop, drop. Once they find that drop that makes it spill over, single drop, they're gonna stop. And then whatever number of drops that that was that they had, they're gonna subtract that one last drop from it and that's what they're gonna put down. It doesn't want to drip. One more, come on, one more, one more, one more. Water loves itself. It wants to hang on to itself and it doesn't want to drip. Okay, so, oh, there uh, some went, okay. So now I would know that number of drops that I had there and then I would take some of my sodium polyacrylate. You're gonna take one of your diapers ahead of time, cut it open and take the sodium polyacrylate out and put it in a dish of some sort for the kids to have. And then you're just gonna, you know, just grab a pinch and put it here. And then they're gonna do the same thing. Count the drops, how many drops? I'm, I'm just going fast because I'm not really counting the drops, but your kids would be counting the drops to see, and they should find that more drops will fit on the spoon with the sodium polyacrylate. Mystery solved. Day three science experiments, shark float. So what we're gonna do here is we are going to test the buoyancy of two sharks and a fish. 
I've already made the one shark that had to be filled with oil because that one was a little more messy, but you can go ahead and draw a cute little sharky on there. Um, and then the other shark, make sure I have my shark and not the fish. I'm gonna fill the other shark full with water as far as I can get it to go. And then what we're gonna do is we're going to test to see the buoyancy of these sharks. And God has designed the sharks very special. He gave them this bladder, it's, it's actually their liver, um, that is very oily. And oil floats in water. So their fatty, their oily liver helps them to float. He also didn't give them bones. They have cartilage instead of bones. And they have specially shaped fins and tails. So let's see first shark number one, if he is going to sink or float. Okay, and we put him in our water and he sank. Okay. Now, if you have any air left at the top of your bottle, it may not um, sink completely. So you wanna make sure when you are filling that, that you fill it the whole way to, to the top. Now, a regular fish, God created them, the way that they can go up and down in the water is he gave them something called an air bladder. And so the air bladder helps them to float or sink, go as far as they want. Cute little fish there. Let's see what he does. Oh, he can float. So what about the shark the way that the shark would really be with that oily liver that actually takes up about 90% of his body? Let's see what happens. And he's floating. Mystery solved. <laughs>